Hi, this is Dan Cordopassi of TSG Multimedia. Today I'm reviewing an HO scale single truck Bernie safety streetcar by Bachman Spectrum. This car represents Sacramento Northern Car 62. This car served on the Sacramento Northern streetcar lines between 1923 and 1947. Since 1964, this car has been preserved at the Western Railway Museum in Rio Vista, California. This model has an MSRP of $205 and includes DCC and a full interior. The paint on the car is nice and thin and doesn't obscure any details. I looked at photos of the real Sacramento Northern 62 and the markings on the model are a pretty close match. The yellow lettering is not quite opaque in some spots, but that is only noticeable under magnification. The rivet detail on the sides of the car and the bars on the windows are nicely done. Each end of the car is nearly identical. As with many streetcars, there are no couplers. The destination signs on the model read Yuba City on the front and Marysville on the rear. The trolley retrievers on the ends are connected to pieces of thread attached to the poles. The thread does not retract as it would on a real car. The detail on the top of the car is very good, though not quite accurate for this particular car. The real SN62 has the trolley poles mounted on a frame that sticks up above the roof. There is also a box-like structure above each door on the real car with the letter C on it that is missing on the model. Those things shouldn't be too difficult to change if you wanted to make this a more accurate model. The trolley poles are functional. There's a switch on the bottom of the car to select between track pickup and pole pickup. The poles are sprung and will stay up on their own. Detail on the underside of the car is good, though hard to see when the model is on the track. The car does not have sound installed, but the floor on the rear end is perforated for a small speaker. There is an arrow pointing to the front, which is nice on a bi-directional model like this. Both axles are powered, and the model picks up electricity from all four wheels. All of the wheels are in gauge according to the NMRA standards gauge. I'm running the model on DCC. It's a little bit of noise, but it's not too bad. This car would definitely benefit from a keep alive because the uh, current pickup with only four wheels is not always that reliable. The model has working headlights and taillights, though they are not very bright. There are also interior lights. The headlight that matches the car's direction of travel is brighter, and the one on the opposite end is dimmer. The red taillights only shine on the end that is pointing to the rear based on the car's direction of travel. In DCC, the lights are controlled with the F0 key. F1 makes the lights dim. Overall, I think this is a pretty good model of a vintage trolley car. I especially like it since the real Sacramento Northern 62 has been preserved. Having said that, I think the MSRP for this car is too high for what you're getting. I should say that I actually paid quite a bit less, which is often the case with Bachman models. Still, even though this car is very nice, with an MSRP over $200, I would expect more prototype-specific detail, especially in the roof area. I'm going to take off a spike for that, so my final verdict is 9 out of 10 spikes.